Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create from scratch a new terrain and uh, import uh, a pre-made heat map and color map. We create a new project from scratch. We choose uh, the project path and uh, assign it a name. We call it uh, uh, My Terrain. We Im an important thing is that uh, we must uh, select uh, the base pack uh, plugin uh, for uh, the project and uh, eventually we can choose the asset pack uh, packs uh, just like uh, nature and uh, shooter pack once we created the project uh, we uh, must create uh, a new scene in which to place our terrain and uh, mm, we call it uh, my terrain and uh, choose uh, five kilometers uh, extension for the scene now we can create our terrain that we call of course uh, my terrain we uh, choose for it uh, four kilometers square squared extension and uh, uh, 4k uh, mask resolutions This is our terrain, uh, we can explore it uh, by moving camera, uh, we can move camera horizontally by uh, pressing uh, W, A, S, T, case and vertically by pressing Q, E, case and uh, uh, we can rotate uh, camera by uh, pressing right mouse button. Now we will import the ETMA. We select uh, terrain tool and then select Terrain Properties tool. Click on Import Heatmap. We can browse for choosing uh, our Heatmap to import. The Heatmap format must be uh, 16 bits grayscale and have to match uh, the Terrain uh, resolution. In our case, uh, 4K. Eventually, we can smooth uh, the Heatmap uh, when import it by checking uh, the smooth uh, checkbox uh, Terrain normals are derived from uh, the 8 map uh, so we can adjust uh, terrain normals uh, amount uh, by using uh, the bump slider inside the uh, heat map properties tool. Now we add the colors to our terrain by importing the color map. We select the text tools browser inside the project uh, tool and choose the folder in, in which to pad our text tool. Right mouse click and choose add. In our case, the texture is named Terrain Color. We can uh, dra drag and drop uh, the texture directly inside the um, color map slot. Now we uh, click on Paint tool uh, for adding detailed textures to our terrain. Terrain has four uh, texture layers. Every layer has a normal map and a diffuse map. In addition, uh, layer zero as a base uh, texture we choose uh, tiling of the base texture and then browse it uh, inside the texture browser dialog we choose a, a grass texture as you can see we can change the slope of uh, uh, the base texture
layer zero uh, has uh, uh, two uh, tailing uh, options uh, one for uh, uh, diffuse map and uh, one for uh, uh, normal map Also, uh, there is uh, uh, another uh, tailing uh, parameter uh, that is uh, the far tailing. Uh, it tests uh, the tailing of uh, uh, the base layer uh, when seen uh, in the distance. Far and near uh, tailing are blended based on the distance uh, from the camera. We choose uh, the diffuse and uh, uh, normal of the uh, base layer uh, using texture browser dialog. As you can see, grass is blended uh, with rocks based on uh, the slope of uh, the normal map, also based on the detail normal map. It does the normal map of the uh, base layer. Now we want to, to enable uh, the ocean. We click on FX uh, tool icon and uh, on uh, environment uh, tool icon and uh, check uh, enable checkbox in uh, water group as you can see uh, the ocean 8 is uh, too too low so we have uh, to adjust the terrain uh, epsilon coordinate in order to uh, place it at water level we eventually can adjust also the water 8 level to improve uh, scene colors we set uh, the proper time of day we position the timeline of uh, time of day track editor on 12 o'clock we can adjust uh, time zone and the sun direction by moving the sliders on uh, the sun option group we can uh, edit time of day parameters inside the weather uh, time of day tool but uh, to make uh, things faster we can directly uh, load a time of day preset clicking on uh, the load button on the time of day track editor finally we uh, edit uh, some properties of the ocean to improve uh, its look ocean uh, uh, waves 8 foam intensity and uh, water refraction Our scene is uh, just ready, we can play uh, with some direction uh, for uh, choosing the best one. Okay guys, that's all for now. Bye.